Okay, God bless. My name is Jonathan Ko. I'm about to just shoot forward and let y'all know what's going on. I had a dream the other day on the 30th of July, and this dream, um, basically, you know, I could get to the point, but I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. I was in a line in a corner store. I was in a line, and this was in a corner store. And in this corner store, um, basically, we was in a line, and and um, I le I reached inside of a lottery machine, and um. Um, and when I reached in and I saw twenty dollars. Okay, now when I pulled it out, I um basically started asking everybody like, whose money is this? And I can tell who's lying and I can tell who's telling the truth. So a lot of people didn't answer me. Okay, and so then after that, I said um, who needs it? Okay, and then after that, this young lady she was like, you know, I'm twenty two thousand dollars in debt for college, and um I just whooped out twenty dollars and gave it to her out of uh, what appeared to be a knot of cash and it all started seeming as if it was just twenty dollars so then I, it, 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 I pulled this out of the machine, out of the lottery machine as twenty dollars and then when I held it, it, it appeared to be like I said um, it appeared to be like a, just a knot of cash, a healthy, a healthy knot and so then after that I gave her the twenty and I didn't give her no more and so after that, um, I just, uh, I recognized, I like, went, I like sort of counted through the, uh, not even really counting, I was just like, you know, like going like that, and I looked and I saw a $40 bill, okay? Now this $40 bill, um, had angels on it, and it had, like, beasts. It was like, it was like, when I say beasts, I mean like a, um, you know, I didn't necessarily see an animal like a, a lion or something like that, but you just felt like a, it was a demonic, beastly angel, and it had wings, it was winged, and it was a, a few of them, and you knew it wasn't godly, you knew it wasn't of God, and so, um, and it was skinny, it was very skinny, it was slender, it wasn't, it wasn't as thick as, or it wasn't as wide, rather, as, um, you know the, the 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 dollar sizes that we have now uh, uh in paper money and it was thin and it was uh it was still the same length and so um i was like i was like forty dollars and i just um let me see um yeah so i was just like and then and then one of the young men who was with me because it was two other people with me they was like man there ain't no forty dollar bill and I was just like, it is right here, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I, I didn't say nothing, but I was just looking. And so, um, yeah, and it was like a beastly looking type monster with a demonic looking um, angels. It was like wings with it in it. And it was like, it was like on both sides of, the, of, the, of this dollar, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like on both sides, on, like the, the $40 was in the corner, just like how, you know, money be in the corner. And then it was something in the middle, I can't remember. But it was like in between that middle, which usually the president's face is, and I didn't see none of that stuff. But um, I saw like like a winged angel on one side and then like a winged angel on the other side. And it was kind of like, you know how like it was like artistic, like the drawings back then. And it was like old, you know what I'm saying? Like how it is in the dollars or, you know this you know European type uh, early work of art you know what I'm saying early American type work of art well it was like that you know what I'm saying and um anyway I just want to let y'all know that that 40 is a significant significant number and I'm gonna give you uh I looked up some sites you know um and I already knew of course because scripture obviously um gives us that number 40 all the time and it's uh, uh i mean i can just say it randomly right now i mean you got the 40 uh days uh i mean actually 40 years of of israel okay in the wilderness okay um when it's supposed to just be 40 days <laughs> okay and the, was it supposed to be even 40 days but anyway you had 40 uh years of that okay then you had the uh the forty days of Jesus being tempted by the devil, okay, 
Okay, now let me show you something. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go forward. It says um in this uh this this is this is uh, a justifiable site. It says the Bible uses forty to uh, denote completion or fulfillment. It is used one hundred and forty six times throughout both testaments. It is the traditional Hebrew number for the duration of a trial of any kind. And so um I'm saying that to tell you guys this that uh. It talks about how this number 40 represents duration, it could represent prosperity, it could represent probation, you know what I'm saying, it could represent trial, okay? And so, uh, um, when times are hard, this is the number for the duration for a trial of any kind, when times are hard and a person's faith is tested, uh, the Israelites slaved in hard bondage under the Egyptian pharaohs uh, for 400 years, 10 times 40. God forced them to wander in the wilderness of sin throughout the sin, uh, uh, Sinai uh, Peninsula for 40 years as punishment for their stiff-necked unbelief. Sin here does not denote uh, sinfulness, but the heat. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. But anyway, that's a that's actually y'all. I'm gonna just I'm reading that to y'all. But anyway, I'm gonna just let you guys know because I I know about that word sin like the Mount Sinai sin okay that uh, is talking about um, that's that's basically uh, Mount Sinai is also Mount Horeb but uh, Mount Horeb means mountain of God Mount Sin is basically um, what it was called from um, the Babylonians okay so I right, go back on the site alright it says uh, so the Mount, Mount Sinai comes from the Babylonians that, that particular way they say it the, the translation Alright, it says, uh, uh, okay, anyway, it says, uh, Moses was 40 years times 3 when he died at age 120. Okay, Moses was 40 days on Mount Sinai, receiving God's law, another 40 days on the mountain, after the golden calf, okay, was being instituted by, uh, Aaron, as they, you know, sought him out to do that stuff for them. Alright, uh, Let's see. Another 40 days on the mount, mountain. Okay. Elijah, some 300 years later, spent 40 days on the same mountain worshiping God. I says there are tons of references to 40 days and 40 nights throughout the Bible. The most notable for the 40 days and nights of rainfall that caused the flood of Noah. Amen. That was the obvious one I didn't think of. During this time, the whole world flooded to a depth of 15 feet above the tallest mountains it took 375 days for the water to recede Jesus fasted for 40 days in the wilderness before being tempted by Satan just told y'all that okay I right. Jesus remained on earth for 40 days after his resurrection appearing to the apostles and teaching them before ascending to heaven at the time of his ascension there were about 120 Christians on earth or 40 times 3. Alright, it was about 40 years from Jesus' ascension to the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD by the Romans. Okay, they destroyed, as you guys know, the, um, the temple. Okay, uh, and this is actually now they're working on the new temple now. So, whew, times is flying, things is happening, stuff is going down. Alright, let's see. The original Koine, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Greek, as recorded in the uh, Codices uh, Sinaiticus and Vatinicus, uh, whatever, the oldest complete manuscripts. It basically says in some version and precisely 40 times over. Right, I'm, I'm going to go to the next one. Alright. So it says here, y'all, it says, um, this is another, uh, biblical site that says, uh, the number 40 has long been universally recognized as an important number both on account of the frequency of its occurrences occurrence and the uh, uniformity of its association with a period of probation trial and chastisement not judgment like the number nine actually I'm not sure if nine represents judgment but I do know nine represents harvest women have children in um usually nine months okay so I don't know about it being judgment but anyway we could just keep going on 
Alright, so it says, uh, the number 40 is the product of 5 and 8 and points to the, okay, they're talking about the number 5. That's grace. We know 5 is grace. Uh, let me just get to the point because it's kind of taking me around, beating around the bush. It says, Israel in the wilderness, okay, we know that. I'm going to give you the sources it points out. Deuteronomy 8, 2 through 5, Psalms 95, chapter, verses 10, Acts 13, 18, the third 40 years of Moses' life, who lived to be 120, just told y'all. Israel from the crucifixion to the destruction of Jerusalem, just told y'all about that, which happened in 70 AD, okay? And this is uh, 40 years after Jesus' um, death and resurrection, okay? Under old... Off Neil, the judge, Judges 3 11, that was 40 years of probation, by prosperity and deliverance and rest. Under Barak, the judge, Judges 5 4 1, um, excuse me, 5, Judges 5 31. And look at that, Barak, but I'm not going there. <clears throat> Alright, under Gideon, the judge, Judges 8 28, and this is all 40, what I'm telling y'all. Uh, it's all probation, prosperity, and deliverance and rest. Okay, which which one ever out of those? Forty years of probation by prosperity and large dominion under King David. Second uh, Samuel five four under King Solomon. First Kings eleven forty two under King Jeroboam. Uh, two King Second Kings uh, twelve seventeen eighteen and. Uh, uh, King Jehoash, Second Kings two one, King Jehoash, Second Chronicle twenty four one. Okay, forty years of probation by humiliation and servitude. Israel under the Philistines, Judges thirteen one. Israel in the time of Eli, First Samuel four eighteen. Israel under Saul, Acts thirteen twenty one. Okay. 40 years of probation by waiting. Uh, Moses in Egypt, Acts. Hold on. The, some of these are wrong. Because I said, hold on, Israel under Saul. So forgive me, y'all. That's wrong. And even Moses in Egypt is wrong. So that's Moses admitting Acts. Nah, that stuff is wrong. So y'all go behind this and check it. Basically, I'll try to get to the point. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um. It says, uh, the number 40 is mentioned 146 times. Uh, yeah, I, I told y'all that already. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's why, you know, I don't really try to be led by these websites. Because, you know, but anyway, it was enough to show y'all. You could go and check the scriptures. The majority of the ones that I just gave y'all were correct. Aside from, uh, a few of them, which was, uh, Moses in Egypt, Acts 7, tw 23, counts of that. Moses in Midian counts of that. Okay, uh... In Acts 13:21, cancel that. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So this number 40. Okay. Um, we know by the Spirit that this number uh, 40 is about to let us know that this beast is coming. I mean, you guys can pretty much comment. I love your comments. You guys encourage me with your feedback, and sometimes I get revelation from God through what you guys tell me and you know um we need each other and I can vouch you know what I'm saying to y'all let y'all know listen man you know uh I mean it was skinny it was a skinny dollar okay go figure you know what I mean it's almost like it's losing its weight okay you know what I'm saying it's losing its size you know um it's 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 impact as far as power I know we all know that the dollar is decreasing, okay, <laughs> clearly, you know what I'm saying. Um, Alright, what else? Uh, you know, these are things that, that, that I kind of thought about. Um, okay, the 40, you know, that also represents, and um, like, you know, we prophesy in part, I'm sure that God can give y'all something and y'all can pray about it. And I know in my heart that, that when I saw those angels, those those demonic um, heavenly hosts, uh, they didn't necessarily all look because it was a, it was like, kind of like, I can't explain, can't express it, but it was kind of like, 
they didn't necessarily look evil, but you knew they was evil. You know what I'm saying? Like you got creatures in heaven that don't look too, you know, welcomely. Okay? I mean you got all types of different looking creatures. So it's not really about the look, but it's about what you pick up in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? I knew in my spirit that those angels that I saw on that forty dollar bill it wasn't of God and um some of them look human with angel wings and then I do remember like some like it was like some like art form of like them tugging and stuff like that and it was just a lot of different little stuff and it was just different but anyway uh so that forty dollars you know what I'm saying represents forty that forty represents uh I don't think prosperity at all we can cancel that okay probation uh I'm going to just say this. The beast is coming. Okay? The beast is really here. Okay? The spirit of the beast is here. And uh, testing is really going to go forth. I believe that is really just dealing with that testing. Okay? You know, um, I mean, clearly there's been testing with that number 40. Uh, and um, I'm just going to say this. It's going to be a test to us as body believers, followers of the way. Okay? To, uh, strive to not partake in anything with the beast okay now folding up the beast's cash that's not going to lead you to damnation but you know you know what will the mark of the beast i always give you guys scriptures revelations 13 16 and 17 okay uh you know you don't want to take it you don't want to get the number of the beast you don't want to get the name of the number you don't want to get nothing you don't want to get the right hand left hand foot eyelid nothing don't let them touch you okay run for your life and and and, and you know i'm just telling you stay prayerful and just rebel against the machine okay fight the power <laughs> you know what i'm saying cuz we fighting against the prince of the power of the air and uh so uh basically you know um I just wanted to share that with you guys also uh later on in this dream um at my job now like I appeared at my job and as I appeared at my job you know um one of the guys at my job like the chefs he was telling me he was like you know basically you can sleep with this woman and it was like this woman was for everybody who was employed there, of course, men, because most cooks are really men when you find out in the society of cooks. I don't understand. I don't know why, but anyway, it's nothing but men at my job. And there's a woman, and she was actually an Ethiopian woman, and she was a sex slave, and it was legal for the employees to have sex with her taking their attention off by having sex with her and so you know um, my boss is like you know you can like you're next like you know because people were already sleeping with her they were like you're next thank God I thank God hallelujah I said no I'm alright you know what I'm saying <laughs> I said no I'm good and I thank God that I said that you know what I'm saying because I don't put no confidence in my flesh and um, you know, I don't had enough dreams, you know, because it's really a heart matter. And sometimes God will show you your heart in a dream. Okay, I don't care what, what you're doing in the manifestation. That's why God, He can see the deeper things. He said, if you look upon a woman in lust, you've already committed adultery. If you say that you hate your brother, you've already committed murder. That's why this stuff is more intense and more in depth than we want to say. Cause I'm like, hold on, I ain't fornicate. Hold on, you know, God is like, yes, you did. Okay, you was looking at that lady switching when she was walking down the street. This DC, y'all, uh, we got so many women here. It's so sexual. This is a sexual city. Y'all probably wouldn't think that. Okay, DC is sexual. I mean, this is the most powerful city on on earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to give you know room for sin, but I'm just saying like this is the home of like you know. The Vatican is connected with DC. You got the Freemasonry stuff going on. Man, it's extreme lust going on. The homosexual, the homosexuality within the youth, everything is extreme. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm just giving this this other word. This is a new word that I'm giving y'all about.
basically sex slaves. I just even, after I had this dream, I had this dream on the 30th. Today's the 1st of August. But, um, after I had this dream, I'm walking to work, you know, from across the street. I look at the CSC, the, um, the newspaper, you know, on the newsstand, and it talks about how all these people just got busted for, um, like the FBI just got busted. Or somebody just got busted with all this sex slave stuff, you know. And God told me before I even had this dream, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like to just give words after, but it's like you still got to give it so people can know God is speaking, okay? Because God is in tune with everything. He's in tune with everything. And we sometimes can act like, oh, you know, God ain't tripping off that. God cares about your eyelashes, okay? You know what I'm saying? He cares about everything. He wouldn't have gave them to you if he didn't care. Okay, but anyway, um... This dream, you know what I'm saying? I mean, excuse me. Before I had this dream, the Lord was speaking to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and and as he was speaking to me, he was letting me know. I don't even know if I was just laying down. I don't think I was praying at all. But he was just letting me know that, um, that, that these people who are high up, these congressmen, these lawyers, these big time judges, these superior, supreme courthouse judges who push the judicial system and they you know they're the reason for everything that is uh, lawful and stuff like that man these people sleeping with little children man okay they sleeping with prostitutes even if they're not children these people are and, and y'all know y'all from DC you know what I'm saying whoever y'all viewers are from DC you know what I'm saying and y'all people on Facebook like in the old school people man y'all know how it was downtown DC y'all know how it was back in the day better than I do Cause I ain't that old, okay? I'm a youngin'. Y'all know, man. I mean, shh. prostitutes, okay? Half naked. You understand know what I'm saying? You can still see that sometimes now. It's prostitutes. I mean, you know, in D.C. I mean, it ain't nowhere near the way it was. But I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stop fronting. All right? This ain't about the White House. That's that stuff is fake. Y'all know what time it is. This is D.C. Y'all. This is D.C. To all my people from D.C., man, it's D.C. Y'all know what time it is. It's going down in all types of wicked ways. And you know this. Step outside your house right now. Look out the window. Okay, what I'm saying? It ain't like people think. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to exaggerate either, but I ain't trying to take away at all. This is a big city. Just like any other city that's big. And there's stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? And D.C. is full of politicians. It's full of, you know, all that kind of stuff. Too. But get to the point is... The reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, when you go downtown, like, you know what I'm saying, real late at night, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 2 in the morning, you're going to see a, a woman with big go-go boots all the way up to her, you know, hips, you know, and patent leather. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see stuff like that. Or or, or you going to, um, or things that you ain't, don't see, like children, uh, you know, sleeping with these pedophile law uh bringers these law the law <laughs> the law you know what I'm saying when I was out there hustling back in the day you know what I'm saying on, off of Good Hope Road where, where I grew up at you know what I'm saying I saw I saw people um I saw a police officer you know we called him Elvis he was tatted up white guy he had sideburns like that he'd come through sometimes he most of the time like off the real, real late, you know what I'm saying? He'd come through in his little, you know, little quiet, don't nobody know who I am now car, you know what I'm saying? And he'd come and pick up some prostitutes, and you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. So, like, you know, and um, God was speaking to me, though, about really, uh, you know, these these sex slaves, okay? And um, people at my job, they would sleep with these, these sex slaves, and it was legal. It was legal. I believe, mm, it's going to be legal, okay? It's going to be Sin City. Y'all know, man, the lawless one, man. Y'all know. And they're going to want to have sex. They, these judges, they're tired. They're tired. They, these celebrities, they want to they wanna be normal. They want to just be normal. They Put it like this. Let me say it like this. They want to be normal sinners, okay? When I say that, I'll, being a sinner really has become normal, but it's really... Uh, not supposed to be viewed that way. Living holy is supposed to be normal because we need to get back to eating. Okay. But my point is is this though. They want to be regular sinners. 
that we've come accustomed to in society. They don't want to just lay down the law and smack the gavel and pretend. They want to be like, you know what? I want to sleep with a little boy and I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? And they, that's what they want to do. You know, I want to sleep with a little girl. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this stuff is real. You know what I'm saying? And I just had another Jezebel dream, man. This, Je this Jezebel spirit is real, okay? And, and I'm telling you, it's real. You understand? I'm talking about... I ain't, I, it's not even a prophetic word. It's not even a word to give. It was just a real disgusting dream. And it, I, I mean, child uh, pedophile stuff was going on. These demons is real. You know, I ain't got no business dreaming this stuff. I don't, I don't have no problem with no child pedophile crap. That stuff come from Satan. It's Jezebel. It's satanic forces. Y'all got to understand this stuff. You know what I'm saying? When you striving to live holy and you wake up from a dream that's so forbidden to speak with 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 child you know filth with adults you know what I'm saying and stuff like that that stuff is Satan okay and he's angry you know what I'm saying so continue to stand continue to pray for me I'll continue to pray for y'all and I love y'all you know what I'm saying I bless God for y'all so back to this number I just want y'all to know so listen you know what I'm saying these judges you know pray against these judges one accord we want to because I want to pray against stuff, you know, talk about, let's, let's write this stuff down. If anybody want to, you know, fight these powers, let's pray, you know what I'm saying? Pray it coming against to, um, these, these judges, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that they continue to be exposed, okay? You know, I know that the Antichrist is going to, you know, come forth and we cannot pray against that. But we can pray that hearts start to uh, harden towards the injustice justice league <laughs> you know what I'm saying these people who come off as you know they're nothing but this Pharisee type people you know what I'm saying it's like they lay down these laws but then they do this okay it's the same thing you know what I'm saying you know and um so you know we gotta come against these people in the name of Jesus cause it's a lot of it's a lot of children being molested it's a lot of children being forced to have sex with old creeps, you understand? And um, so you know, that's something that God gave me in the dream, and, and and it's also because in these jobs, God was showing me the secrecy of it all, of how people are actually sleeping with sex slaves, and I believe honestly, you know, in these elite um services, they are sleeping with sex slaves, and these sex slaves have become accustomed to it to the point where they just look at it as this is life. You know what I'm saying? This is life, you know. But um, and it's not life, you know. It's sin, and sin is the wages of death, you know. And um, and I, I also want to just you know pray for their their restoration, you know what I'm saying? Because who knows the sufferings? I mean, look at those three young ladies who were abducted by that creep in Ohio. You know what I'm saying? And and I hope that he comes to God, you know, because God he can change anybody. But um, so we gotta fix our mindset also. You can change Zimmerman. You know what I'm saying? Like people, we gotta. I seen some of y'all's videos, man. Y'all gotta cut it out, man. You know, let's not. You know what I'm saying? Zimmerman's wrong, but like, you know what I'm saying? He can receive grace. Okay. Like, did you know that? You know. Okay. All right. Um. So, <laughs> and then the forty dollar bill. You know what I'm saying? Like the forty dollar bill. I just want y'all. I'm gonna end on like that note. The forty dollar bill. Okay. That is a time of testing for us. We need to know that we cannot partake. In this beast, we know that this beast is going to be a testing of us to be beheaded saints, okay? And we're going to strive, and it's also, uh, it's going to be like God just giving y'all over to y'all desires. When I say y'all, I don't mean anybody in the body of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Those who are looking and listening as well, you know, who aren't part of the family of God. But I love y'all. I hope that y'all stand strong and um, beat this testing period of the number 40 on this dollar that's decreasing because remember it was skinny and um, you know I saw the beast I saw angels you know that were demonic on this dollar bill and uh, bless God for y'all for listening and it's of Satan so stay tuned for the new wave of what the Holy Ghost is going to tell all of us and stand strong in the faith God bless you I love you all